Hi guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel and Easy Cooking blog tonight. Tonight I'm going to make another classic pasta dish. It hails from northern Italy, just like last week's dish. Although it does have roots in Sicily, because both Italy and Sicily use a certain type of ingredient for all kinds of pasta dishes and sauces. And that ingredient is nuts. All kind of nuts. Walnuts, pistachios, almonds, pignons, or pine nuts. All kinds of nuts are used in the Italian diet. You just don't see it very often in a lot of places. So tonight I'm going to make a dish for you. And that dish is called pasta con pancetta, carciofi, gorgonzoli e pistacchi. In other words, pasta with bacon, artichoke, gorgonzola, and pistachios. It's going to be good. It's a little complicated. Got to get the flavors a little bit balanced, but it's really not all that bad. And as usual with YouTube, 15 minutes, so let's get going, and I'll see you on the other side. Ciao. Okay, guys, we're back. As with any typical Italian dish, first order of business. Boiling water, well salted. In goes the pasta. I'm using, once again, penne regate, because it's excellent with this recipe. I'm going to stir it around here a little bit. I'm going to let it cook until it's al dente. Then I'm going to drain it. Put it right back in this pot again with a little olive oil to keep it from sticking. And we're going to make the key ingredient to this recipe, the sauce. So I'm going to let this cook, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. See ya. Okay, guys. The pasta's done. I'm just going to add a little olive oil to it and stir it around to make sure it doesn't stick together. It'll stay in this nice hot pot on a back burner. There we go. Mix it together from the outside. All right. This is going on a back burner, and we start the next component to this dish. Okay, guys. The next component to this sauce is pistachio nuts and some heavy cream. We're going to blend this together. For this dish, you need to let the cream get warm. I just usually get it to room temperature. You could actually warm it in a pan or a pot if you wanted to, but I just let it get to room temp. I just let it get to room temperature. And then I just pulse it. Okay, once the mixture is smooth, put it in a glass and keep it aside. We'll be using it soon. Stay tuned. Okay guys, the next step in this dish, let's make the sauce. First things first, we're going to add butter and olive oil to a large saute. A 10 inch or larger would be best because this sauce is going to have a little bit of volume to it. Okay. And we want to get that to melt and we want to get it to sizzle. Okay. Butter for the flavor, the olive oil for the smoke point. Okay. We want to get it This sizzle. is not a dish to make if you're on a diet. Okay. This is one of those happy Italian dishes where you live life to the fullest. There's a lot of calories here, a lot of fat, and fat is where the flavor is, and that's what foodie is all about. My mother and brother are going to kill me. I usually make this dish for friends and family. My mother and brother are going to kill me because I'm not making it for them, but you guys, my subs and friends, are my YouTube extended family, so I'm making it for all you. All right, there it is, starting to sizzle. First things first, onions. We want to saute these onions until they get tender. And it's not going to take long. Okay. Bacon. The next thing we're going to add. Like I said, this 
This dish is not for the faint of heart. Okay. Mix it all together. Now you can use prosciutto in this. Prosciutto is fine. But I like bacon, and when I buy bacon to do this recipe, I buy the ends. Okay, I buy the bacon ends. Because they, as you can see, there's a lot of meat in those ends. More meat than you'll get in regular stripped bacon. Okay. okay, so you can see why I use the bacon end pieces because look at all that delicious meat and all that delicious flavor. Okay, you won't get chunks of meat like that using regular stripped bacon, Oscar Mayer, and stuff like that. Ends and pieces give you all this delicious meat. You notice I'm not adding any salt because there's enough salt in the bacon. Now, to this, while it's browning, I am going to add garlic. Some of the garlic I worked with yesterday. And I'm going to add some pepperoncino for the heat. This is the Sicilian part right here, baby. And I like a lot of heat. Okay. Just going to let that sit. And then I'm going to add it in. Here we go. You want the onions and the bacon to brown a little bit. Just like you see here. Caramelization is the key because we're going to add a little bit of white wine to deglaze this. Now let's get that garlic in there. It starts to soften real quick. The pepperoncino starts to let go of some of its oil, adding a little heat. It smells so good in here, I'm just dying. All right. Nice and brown. Okay, now we're going to deglaze. Going to reduce the heat a little bit. And we're going to deglaze a little white wine. Since we're cooking Italian, I'm using a nice Pinot Grigio. Now, at this stage of the game, we need to reduce the wine by half in order to construct the sauce. Okay, the Pinot Grigio is reduced by half. So now what we're going to do, we're going to add in some really nice full flavored chicken stock. Okay. All right. We mix that in. And to this, we're going to add the pistachio and heavy cream mixture. Okay. It's going to act as a thickener because it's very thick already. All right. There we go. All right. Now, at this stage of the game, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Not too much. And I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. Just a little bit, all the way around. Here we go. There we are. Mix it all together. Get that pistachio cream mixture swirling all about. All right. All right, now this requires simmering for about 10 or 15 minutes to get it to reduce a little bit. So I'm going to move this to the back burner and I'm going to start on the artichokes. Okay, guys, here's the next step. Fresh artichokes with the stems. Pepperoncino to them. And add a little salt. There we go. 
I just love flipping in the saute pan. <laughs> Alright, get them nice and coated. These are going to go on top of the plate of pasta. It's not going in the sauce. These little jewels go on top of the plate of pasta. Along with some pistachios and a little more pepperoncino if you want. These don't take very long to cook. You can see they start to turn translucent. This will be done in another minute. I'll be right back and then we're going to finish the sauce. Okay. Now the final touch to this sauce. Gorgonzola. One of my absolute favorite cheeses. And this is a combination of Parmigiano, Romano, and Asiago. We're going to stir this in. Let it melt in. Thicken this sauce. This is where this baby comes together. And then what we're going to do, we're going to pour this sauce on top of the pasta in the pot and cook it for a minute or two. And then we're going to plate us a nice big plate for dinner. Now you can see that cheese melting. Raise the heat a little bit. Mix it in thoroughly. It's both spicy, sweet, pungent, salty. And if done the right way, this is a very well, well balanced sauce. Now if you feel it's too thick because of the cheese, and this is just a little bit on the thick side, that's all right. Add a little more white wine to it. Thin her down just a tad. There we go. The alcohol will burn off in a minute or two. That's a nice color. And it lets the cheese move. There we go. There we go. A lovely gorgonzola cream sauce. Okay, here's a penne regate. And I'm going to pour the sauce into the pot with the penne regate. There we go. I'm going to stir it into the pasta. I'm going to coat it all. There it is, guys. Pasta con pancetta, carciofi, gorgonzola, e pistacchi. Pasta with bacon, artichokes, gorgonzola, and pistachio cream sauce. With the artichokes on top, a smattering of pistachio shaken on there, and uh, a lot more red pepper. I'm leaning more toward the hot Sicilian side of life, but there it is. I promise, if you try this recipe, you will fall in love with it. Please do me a favor, comment and like. I appreciate you stopping by. Have a good night. Take care.